there lovely people. I am doing a vlog this weekend because I can. <laughs> oh, but really I'm doing a vlog this weekend because Holly over at Holly Blog is hosting the UK Rereadathon and even though I'm busy every single day this weekend I thought it would be a good idea to take part because logic. <laughs> so it's currently Friday August the 31st and I am off to a really bad start. <laughs> Considering it is almost 12 o'clock and this readathon started near enough 12 hours ago and I've read nothing yet and I won't until later this evening because I'm going out and like I said I'm busy every single day this week and so <laughs> I am off to an atrocious start but oh well. But because I know that I'm busy this weekend I do only intend to read one book and if I can finish that book then I will be incredibly happy because the book that I'm planning on rereading for this rereadathon is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This is about two guys who figure out they can give themselves abilities like superheroes and it's a very morally grey book, it's not a clear cut good and bad side, it's just a very interesting book and I read this years ago. can barely remember what happened but the sequel is finally coming out and like I said can't remember what happened so I do actually need to reread this. But I am a pretty slow reader so it usually takes me at least a week to finish a book so if I can finish this this weekend I will be very happy. <laughs> so yeah I won't even be starting this rereadathon until much later on and tomorrow I'm going out for food and then on Sunday Richard is coming over here so even though we are having a chill day I will end up reading a lot slower than I usually do when I'm just by myself or we'll probably just end up not reading. <laughs> so yeah, if I do manage to finish this it will be amazing but we'll see. <laughs> just find it funny because everyone else has been like posting their TBRs and they at least have more than one book on there let's just say that. <laughs> but it's fine. I'm just going to meet up with a friend because I've not seen her in a little while so we're just going for coffee and having a catch up type thing. I will take my camera with me which I'm actually quite mm, about because I've not taken this camera outside of my house yet because I'm convinced I'm going to break it. But I will take my camera with me. I don't know how much footage I will get while I'm out because it's not exactly subtle taking a camera this big and just whipping it out in the middle of town or in a coffee shop. But I will try. <laughs> I do actually have quite a few things I need to remember to do today and it's kind of stressing me out big time because I haven't written it down yet, I need to write them all down in my bullet journal but I don't have time before I go so I'll probably have to do that when I'm out and in the coffee shop. So I need to remember to do that while I'm out. Oh my god another thing I need to remember to do! <laughs> Why does this happen? Basically I need my bullet journal to be able to function as a normal human being so Let's hope that while I'm out I manage to declutter everything that's in my head right now and sort my life out. <laughs> and just in case you wanted a sort of outfit of the day thing because I do actually like, I've gotten really into styling outfits and things lately so I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. It's very simple today to be fair, it's just this sort of purple checked shirt dress and some boots. <laughs> And very adventurous I know and obviously my trusty green backpack which is over there somewhere because I need to put some stuff in it but yeah outfit of the day hello so <laughs> it's now about 8 p.m. on Friday and I've read about 30 pages of my book <laughs> oh dear I did get back from meeting my friend at about half five and started reading a bit but I just felt ill and I was in a bad mood so I didn't really do any updates. I barely vlogged anything when I went out apart from a really short clip of the actual cafe itself because we went to this really nice place, it had an industrial sort of feel to it and it was really lovely. It was the nicest caramel latte that I have ever had because it was very sweet and that's always how I have coffee so that was really nice and it was really lovely seeing my friend but I barely got any footage of while I was out and then like I said I got home and started feeling ill I was in a bad mood and 
basically I read about 30 pages of Vicious and then I went to sleep. <laughs> oh well, even though we have a few hours left of Friday, <laughs> um, I don't think I'm going to get much done today. <laughs> but of the 30 pages that I did read, it has reminded me of how much I've forgotten of Vicious <laughs> because it started off with it started off with something that I didn't remember happened and I forgot that it switches sort of perspective in a way it kind of switches time frame from what it's telling so it's kind of like you start out with a glimpse of present day and then you go back to find out where it all started and keep switching back and forth I forgot how quick it is to read as well I guess which is probably a good thing because as we've already established this readathon is going brilliantly so far and now that I've had a nap <laughs> I might be able to stay up later <laughs> I don't have to go to sleep um, too early so hopefully I can get quite a bit done this evening well tonight but as of right now I need to get in the shower so Hopefully that's going to revive me a bit. I do have some provisions. I'll go and do a mini haul because I did buy stuff while I was out because of course I did. I always buy things when I go out. So bear with me. So the provisions that I bought was basically sweet things. <laughs> I got some Maltesers and some drumstick squashies which are just these weird little sweets it tastes really nice. It was basically just an excuse for me to buy sweet things. But then because we went in a shop called The Works, which is kind of like a weird mix of a bookshop and a craft store and just random things. <laughs> if you're from the UK you might know which shop I'm on about. But because we went in there I ended up getting some random stuff because I got these sticky tabs for when I start university because I just saw them and even though I didn't intend on buying anything um, if it wants to focus on there we go I just really like these sticky tabs because I mean they're white and they just have little flowers on and we all know how much I love plants but I really don't like the typical post-it notes so you know like the really bright colour things like these I don't like these. <laughs> I'm not a fan of really bright colours. I always wear neutrals and it's just the set colours I tend to go for, like the earthy tones and the neutrals. So when I was at university, if I ever wanted to tap a page so that I could come back to it and find the quote that I thought would be relevant, I had to do it with the tabs that I had and I didn't like them. So. I got some cute ones. That was a very long-winded story. Basically I got these for uni so I can tap pages that I think might be helpful. <laughs> but then I also picked up these little things and I think these are meant to be for sewing and like making material type texture things but I got them for my bullet journal just because they look nice. <laughs> they are just called like two meters of trim so I'm not quite sure what they are but the first one is this and I just really like the design of it it's kind of like a ribbon so I will either glue this down or sew it in and then the second one is this one which I don't know if you can tell very well because it's in a plastic thing but it's kind of like a braided rope with leaves on and it's just very much my aesthetic <laughs> My favourite colour is dark green, everything that I post is dark green, everything that I wear is taken on a weird woodland theme and so I just thought this would look very good in my bullet journal. The friend that was with me agreed so I had to buy it. <laughs> and while we're talking about things I've bought for my bullet journal, um, the day before today, otherwise known as yesterday, <laughs> I also went to Paper Chase and picked up a white pen because I saw Catherine over at Writing Hideout Art. She made a video which was a plan with me for her September bullet journal and when she was using brown paper she tended to 
either write with white pen or just outline some of her titles with it and I just think it looks really good. And I've seen quite a lot of people do it where they kind of draw in highlights with white pens when they write it on dark paper and I always use brown paper on mine. If you find my latest one, there's a lot of brown paper in it. So I wanted a white pen. She said she got hers from Paper Chase. That's where I went. That's what I got. <laughs> but yes, anyway, I'm wasting time now. So I'm going to go and get in the shower, revive myself a bit, and then read because that's what you're meant to do when you're taking part in a readathon. <laughs> You can probably tell from the no makeup, half white hair, fuzzy pyjama look I've got going on and I'm rocking it. <laughs> but it's currently about 1am and I managed to read 164 pages of Vicious within about two hours maybe because I keep stopping and starting. I can't read for like an extended period of time, I'm too fidgety to do that and I lose focus really quickly so I just constantly have to stop and start. But I think that's an all right amount, considering I didn't properly start this readathon until about 9pm on the first day. <laughs> As of right now, I think I can pull through this readathon because all I had wanted to do is to finish this book and I want to get to at least page 200 before going to sleep tonight, which won't take me too long because then that'll leave me with 200 pages to read tomorrow. Well, it'll leave me 200 pages to read until I finish the book, which I'm hoping to do tomorrow before I go out anywhere. So, that'll be a very unexpected turn of events because I only plan to read this one book and if I finish it tomorrow and I have a day left of the readathon, I don't know what else to pick up because I didn't plan for it. <laughs> and like, all the books that I could possibly reread are all too long, if that makes sense. Like, they're on all the ones that I want to reread, I wouldn't be able to do so within 24 hours, I think. So, <laughs> I don't actually know what I'm going to do, but I will figure that out when I get to it. <laughs> but yes, like I said, my action plan as of right now is to read another 40 pages tonight, at least before I go to sleep. I have no idea what time I'm going to go to sleep tonight, no idea what time I'm going to wake up tomorrow, but at some point tomorrow I will come back and update you on everything that happened, which I'm sure will be thrilling. <laughs>
is today's little outfit of the day. This sunflower shirt is from ASOS and it's just quite oversized. It's tied here to make it cropped. I have some mom style jeans that I've turned up at the bottom and then just some Converse because why not? <laughs> I also just thought I'd mention what jewellery I'm wearing because I am obsessed with these earrings that I just bought. I got them from an independent shop in my city and they're just little beehives, I love them. I also got on some rings, I always wear this green one and this one on, well this one, <laughs> um, just because I really like the designs of them. This one is the one that I keep on permanently. The rest of them. I usually put on this green one and the one on my other hand every day and then these really thin ones just go on whenever I'm feeling like it but yeah. Now I am off out to get some lunch with my friends so <laughs> so far no reading has been done today but the same happened yesterday and I ended up reading half a book so if I can do the same this evening I'm doing all right. <laughs> So it's currently about 9pm on Saturday and I'm about, well, I'm just under 300 pages in Vicious and I forgot how intense this book was. Like, it's very intense and Oscar is here. Oh, he don't want to be, apparently. But he is here. Aww. But yeah, I forgot how intense Vicious was and it very much works to my advantage because it just means that I am flying through the pages well, as much as I can fly through pages because I am still a slow reader. <laughs> but I'm reading at a quicker pace than I usually do, which is fab because I have been out today, as I mentioned earlier, and I've not had a lot of the day to actually sit and read. I probably won't do it tomorrow either, so if I can finish this book this evening, then I will be very happy. I don't know whether I'll be able to, but I've got it in my head now that I have to finish this, this evening. So, I'm probably just going to stay awake until I do. It's only this little bit that I've got to read. That's, I can do that. In fact, it's not even that much because in the back of this there's like the start of another story. Bear with, let me find it. So all this, all this bit, there's... A short story called Warm Up, which I don't know what that is, but it is a very short story. Bloody hell, it's literally about three pages. But then there's also a sneak peek for Vengeful, which is a sequel, which I probably won't read because I don't feel the need to read sneak peeks. I just wait for the book to come out. <laughs> so the book finishes there. So it's not too long. I, could, I can read that tonight. I'm going to read that tonight. <laughs> I will be ashamed if I don't read that tonight. <laughs> now that I've seen how little there is. Let's do this. <laughs> this is probably the most boring vlog ever. Just me failing a readathon and telling you about how I went out but not actually showing you because I don't take my camera with me places. I'm not a very interesting person. I say this all the time. <laughs> but anyway, I'm rambling and I need to go and read this. What is throwing me off slightly is the fact that I really want to watch booktube videos because all of my favourite people have uploaded and they all sound like really good videos and I just, I really want to watch booktube but I will get sucked in for many hours and then just not read anything because I'll go to sleep. So... I can't do it until this readathon is done. I know they'll still be there, but I just really want to watch them. Oh. So, if I've taken forever to comment on anyone's videos, if you were expecting a comment from me, then I apologise, it's because of this. Don't blame me. <laughs> blame my um, bad timekeeping because I've managed to waste time in every other aspect, so I might as well have watched Booktube, but here we are. I'm even wasting time now, so I'm going to go and smash this out. Because that's what you do in a readathon. <laughs>
exact same place, so it probably doesn't look like any time has passed. But I just finished reading Vicious. It is 11pm, I finished this about 20 minutes ago and I am well chuffed. <laughs> I am so impressed with myself because I didn't think I would finish this. Alright, let me take my hair out because this is not a look I'm going for. <laughs> But I fully thought that I would only finish this book this weekend because of how busy I've been but I finished it with a day to spare. I can finally put the cover back on. I can do that much because it looks pretty so we're gonna do that. There we go! <laughs> but yeah this, I did forget how intense it was. I think I said that earlier but it gets even more intense because the chapters all have a sort of time frame at the top of which time period you've jumped to. I don't think that makes sense. Basically it tells you what period of time that chapter is set in but it kind of turns into a countdown towards some big event happening towards the end so it does get even more intense because you know it's coming and you're just like oh my god it's getting so close now and oh it's just so good. I know that I've got a review for this book on my blog from the first time I read it so I'm going to go and read that at some point, probably next week, and see what my thoughts were and kind of compare them because I'm quite intrigued to see how younger me formed thoughts because <laughs> as you could probably tell right now I'm not that eloquent a person but I basically just want to see how my thoughts compared to what they did a few years ago. I know I've left my rating the same because I rated this 4.5 stars and I'm leaving it at 4.5 stars um, just because it's that good and I'll be able to form my thoughts better when it comes to my September wrap up or even just my wrap up at the end of this video maybe, I don't know but yeah it does leave me with a dilemma though because I didn't anticipate this I thought that book would take me a lot longer to read and so I didn't plan a bigger TBR. I don't know what to reread next, <laughs> basically. Because I don't have any books that I will be able to finish within the readathon time period. Like, I could start one, but I don't think I'd finish it. And that would annoy me because I feel like once the readathon's finished, I'll not want to read it anymore. I don't know, it's a dilemma because I have two options. One being Cersei by Madeline Miller, which I read at the end of 2017. So it wasn't that long ago and I do remember what happens, but it's my newest favourite book and the second I finished it I wanted to reread it again, but I haven't gotten around to it yet, so I could do that. And I feel like that book, I would have the higher chance of finishing within the readathon time period. However, I've also been wanting to reread The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak because that has been one of my favourite books for years now but I can barely remember that much from it because it has been so long and I kind of want to see if it's still a favourite now because <laughs> I take my favourites list on Goodreads very seriously. I only have books on there that are definite all-time favourites for me so I kind of want to see if it still belongs on there but it is about 400-500 pages long and because it's historical fiction and sad <laughs> it's quite a slow read so I don't think I'd finish it within the time period of the readathon but I do want to reread that one more. This is such a dilemma I don't know what to do. I might have to do a poll but it's already like 11 p.m. so who would vote because I need it to be a quick poll so that I don't waste time during the readathon. I basically I need to choose something to reread now but I don't know what. <laughs> oh my god what a conundrum. See this is where you see how indecisive I am as a human being. I never make decisions if you asked me a simple question of where do I want to eat if we're going out for food I wouldn't give you an answer I would make someone else decide because I just can't decide 
<laughs> so, how do I decide? <laughs> Bear with, I'm gonna get the two books. Oh, I don't know which one to read. I will be having a break from reading for a small amount of time, so I might very quickly do a poll and get to it to decide for me because <laughs> I cannot make decisions. <laughs> I'll be back to update you. In fact, now that I think about it, one thing I am going to do is, well, for one, take the lid off this cup of tea because yes, I want it to keep warm, but it's actual lava right now and I don't feel like burning my taste buds off of my tongue. So I'll do that when I have more than one hand because this is gonna go everywhere. But what I was going to say is I'm going to update my bullet journal because I need to keep track of everything I've done and everything I've not done. I need to plan out when I'm doing my videos and just generally update my life. I'm just checking in to say that Yorkshire tea is the best kind of tea. That is all. <laughs> It is now Sunday morning, well, it's nearly midday, but it's Sunday, which means it is the last day of the UK Rereadathon. I didn't end up reading anything more last night, and I did pick up Cersei to reread this morning, but again, I wasn't really feeling it. I think I got about 20 pages in and just decided not to. So I've decided that I will actually reread The Little Book of Huga by Mike Wicking. This is a non fiction, and I just want to feel all cosy and stuff and this is one of my favourite books so I thought I'd reread this one because it's quite small and it is full of photos and everything if I can, can't really show you but it is full of photos and things so it won't take me that long to reread but as of right now I need to go and meet Richard so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'll do another quick outfit of the day. It's very simple today because I couldn't actually be bothered to do anything. So I've just got on this crop top from Topshop and then some black flared trousers, which make me feel like I should be in Stranger Things. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna put on some black and white converse and tie my hair up because I've got to walk into town and it's really quite hot today, so yeah. So it's now about half past eight on Sunday evening and the readathon just hasn't happened today. I've literally read nothing. <laughs> oh my god, my hair is an actual rat's nest. But yeah, I haven't read anything today and I know that my motivation to read has just gone. So I don't think I'll be reading anything for the rest of today. I kind of just feel like watching booktube videos, so I'm gonna do that instead. <laughs> the UK rereadathon ended for me last night when I finished reading Vicious because I didn't read anything more. But my only goal was to read that, so I don't feel too bad. My page count is like 403 or something like that, however long Vicious is. <laughs> There's actually not much more to say because all I did today was start watching The Staircase on Netflix with Richard. I don't think this has been the most entertaining vlog out there. I feel like I've rambled on forever about really pointless things so <laughs> I will take my sleepy self and curl up in this bed of mine and just spend the rest of today Washing book tube. I'll try and get this video up tomorrow, so on Monday, but I will need to edit and subtitle the entire thing. So hopefully, I will get that done. We shall see.
I'm thinking of doing my own 24 hour readathon at some point in the next few weeks. So maybe there'll be another sort of readathon vlog soon. But that one should be more entertaining because it'll only be 24 hours. So I'll be much more motivated to like solidly read rather than keep stopping and starting and then skip days. <laughs> so just that side of it and also I would end up staying up as long as physically possible through the night which sometimes works. I quite often have days where I just can't sleep at night or I end up staying awake until like 4am so hopefully it hits on one of those days because that would be quite helpful. That might end up being more entertaining if that happens. We shall see. This is the UK rereadathon coming to an end somewhat early but it's fine. I read Vicious, that's all I wanted to do. <laughs> so that is the end of this video. I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye!